What's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and musician of a few years now. And today I'm going to show you how Melodyne works with vocals. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how Melodyne works with vocals. And I actually already have Melodyne open here in a Pro Tools session. I even already transferred over the vocals into Melodyne. So I do have a uh, tutorial video for that up online. Um, but once you do, or how you transfer over is simply clicking or selecting the transfer button so it's yellow and then simply hit play or the space bar and that's going to transfer over your audio track into Melodyne. Okay, so what happens is, you know, let me, um, let's kind of, let's take a quick view of the edit window here, okay? This track here in Melodyne, this vocal line, is actually this track right here. All right. So how it works is once it's transferred over, that means Melodyne takes over and is playing back from Melodyne. So Melodyne is almost, in a way, the source, and whatever exists here doesn't matter anymore. So, for example, I'm going to place a play marker here. I'm going to hit play. Do you have it finally figured out? Will you never have to shout? Okay, so you can hear that as an example. But if I select this and delete this inside of Pro Tools, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because what matters is here. The audio exists here now. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're um, doing edits. So you want to make sure that you have the final vocal comp before you're transferring into Melodyne because if you do have to make corrections here inside of uh, Pro Tools, it's not going to uh, automatically update inside of Melodyne here. So once again, make sure you do all your edits before transferring into Melodyne. See, because I can play this. Do you have it finally figured? And you can still hear it even though there's no audio region inside of Pro Tools. And I'm just going to Apple Z and undo that. But anyway, that is one thing of how Melodyne works. Let's go ahead and um, pitch correct these vocals real quick. And what I like to do from a starting point is to correct all of them globally with this, the correct pitch button, and that's gonna bring up this window. From here we have two different slider options, and I'm gonna slide this all the way to the right 100%. And as you can see, that all these notes are slowly shifting. Not by much, but just enough because we're moving the center of the note dead on the correct note that it should be. Because as, as human beings, as we are, vocals aren't always gonna be perfect. Even Beyonce and Katy Perry, they, um, they, I, I guarantee that they don't have perfect voices, um, after, or I should say before Melodyne. But anyway, not, not that they're not great singers or anything, because they absolutely are. But getting back to Melodyne, sliding this all the way over 100%. Now what is going on here is Melodyne is guessing that whatever note this is closest to, like if we take this this note for example, I don't know, let me cancel. If I if I highlight this note, it's only going to move that note. So it's guessing. Well, since that note was the closest to C sharp, this grayed out strip right here, it's going to place it next to C sharp. That's why when you're tracking, it's best to track and get it as close as possible to the pitch or to the note or else Melodyne is going to put it somewhere else. But even then, it's still okay because all we have to do is take a listen and see if it actually is correct. Okay, I'm going to hit cancel and I'm going to undo that highlight. And again, I'm going to globally correct this. Okay. And some people like to slide over the correct pitch drift as well all the way 100% I like to some people don't because some people feel like it takes away from the naturalness of the uh, of the vocal um, but I tend to disagree I, I just I like it to be um, somewhat close to perfect 
So I'm going to hit OK here. And let's take a listen to what we have now. Do you have it finally figured out? Will you never have to shout? Cause I'm tired of hiding in my bedroom. All right, perfect. So that is basically how Melodyne works. So that's pretty much it and how Melodyne works with vocals. If you do have any other questions, please let us know. And thank you for watching.